Respect. I think so. Thought he had a tremendous game. I mean, not only through the runner out the plate, but you know, you just saw he's got all the skills. I mean, you beat out a ground ball and uh, took another ball, turned into a double. Um, hopefully, that tells you that his legs are feeling much better, and, and we just hope it continues because he's. If we're gonna if we're gonna get in it, he's gonna he's got to lead the way. Yeah, on that double in particular, did you immediately think all right, the legs are probably I okay? The whole way. I watched him out of the batter's box the entire way. So, um, you know, but, but certainly came out of it well. Kevin? What does DeGrom mean to you, and, and what kind of difference does he make when he's on the mound? Kevin, you know, I always looked at it. I always look at starting, especially a guy like Jake or, you know, we thought we had five of them to start the season. Those number one guys. When they, you need them, they rise up. They, they, they're there when you, when you need them no, most. They keep you from lo having losing streaks because it's, when it's their turn and you've lost three or four in a row, they step up and they shut the other team down. Um, you know, Jake's on a roll right now. Guys are the team's comfortable when he pitches. They know he's going to get us deep in the game, and I think it leads to increased offense. Abby? Terry, was there any sort of renewed sense of urgency tonight or any sort of relaxed demeanor that you saw coming out of the break? Well, we talked about it before the break, um, that coming when we got back, when we started today, that there's a sense of urgency. We got to we got to pick the game up, rise up and start to, uh, you know, get some put some things together. And tonight was one of those occasions and, um, you know, started with Jake. You know, they got an outstanding offensive team, and you got when you can shut them down. Um, you know, I just think we scored a few runs. We think, hey, look, we got Jake on the mound. You know, we're we're going to stop these guys, and and he did that. But there's a sense of urgency. There's no question about it. And one Mike. more. Oh, sorry. Uh, just what do you feel like TJ has proved this year? I mean, he's obviously shown that he can hit. And now he's hitting sort of consistently. What have you seen from him this season? Well, that's what he can do. I mean, he's an outstanding offensive player. You know, last year when he came up, you know, we had some injuries. He played around. He ended up starting his for us in the playoff game. Um, you know, this year he's been, you know, up and down a couple of times because we the other the infield's been pretty much intact until Neil went down, and now he's getting his chance to to get in the lineup and play. And he's doing exactly what he did last year, and that is not only getting hits, he gets he's getting big hits. Mike Terry, what what kind of stuff goes through your head when you hear other teams have interest in trading for? Dick? To Grom. Well, I can't say, Mike. <coughs> I, you know, I, I don't make the decisions here. So, um, but, but uh, as, as I've always, you know, always, I've, I think it today. You know, I go back to, uh, I think anybody can be traded at any time. That's part of the game. But uh, you know, guys who are really, really good, their names are always asked for. Why not? Why wouldn't you take a shot and say, ask, hey, look, is this guy available? And when you hear what the package is, you got to make a decision. But uh, I'm not surprised. You know, you were, you know, we're struggling a little bit, and teams think that maybe we want to unload those kind of players. So I get it, but my boss has got a pretty good feel for <laughs> those kind of things.